Hi guys, welcome back to Think ICO. This is Tapas and today I'm going to talk about an exciting ICO which is called Derico. Now before I start, here's a small disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. The views expressed in this video are my own. This is not a legal or a financial advice. I recommend you to do your own research and use your own discretion before investing. Now, coming on to Derico, let's see what Derico stands for. Derico stands for Decentralized Acid Bagged Return Focused Investment Grade Coin. I know it's quite complex, but I'm going to dissect it layer by layer in this video so you understand what Derico ICO is all about. So uh, Derico is an investment grade coin uh, which is going to be backed by Bitcoin, Ethereum and gold. So actually what the management of Derico is going to do is they are going to use the funds raised through the ICO and they are going to uh, buy Bitcoins, Ethereum and gold and these three assets will drive the price of the Derico coin so it's not a coin on its own it's backed by these three assets so to say it is one coin which, which will have uh, investment spread so the idea is that it should reduce the risk and also it will create a high value because as we all know bitcoin and ethereum are the most valuable cryptocurrencies and gold always remains a high value high demand asset and, and and this makes it uh, unlike any other cryptocurrency because usually, uh, you know, if you go and buy a brand new uh, cryptocurrency, it has no value of its own and it is not backed by any assets. So this makes Dareko very unique. Uh, 240 million Darekos will be created. So it is going to have a limited supply. Uh, just like Bitcoin, it, it will be limited in number and uh, there are only so many Derico coins that will be created over a period of time and it's going to be backed by uh, Ethereum in a sense that it is going to use the same mechanism on the blockchain as Ethereum does and in, in fact it is developed on Ethereum blockchain and also investors will receive additional coins over a period of time from auto mining we will talk about all of this uh, in the later part of uh, this video. Uh, now let's start by reviewing what's the problem with most new cryptocurrencies. As I said, most cryptocurrencies are not backed by any assets. And many of these cryptocurrencies develop their own blockchain algorithm which takes a while to prove its reliability and acceptance. Liquidity. Liquidity remains a problem with most cryptocurrencies unless and until they are one of those top 10 cryptocurrencies. Uh, it's most likely that your cryptocurrency would end up staying in the wallet forever unless and until you decide to sell it. Even if you want to sell it, you have to go to an exchange and there are very few exchange who would trade in them. So low liquidity remains a problem especially if it's a new cryptocurrency. Low acceptance. As we all know that Bitcoin and Ethereum are, are widely accepted in the market. There are several web stores uh, where you can buy things using Bitcoin and Ethereum. And also nowadays uh, you can find ATMs where you can withdraw cash from uh, even if you have your money stored uh, in the form of uh, a Bitcoin or an Ethereum. So, uh, but, but that remains a problem with most new cryptocurrencies. Their acceptability remains very low. A and in the same manner, they are extremely volatile. So they are driven by the rest of the market, especially Bitcoin. Uh, so if uh, the price of Bitcoin goes up, uh, they will see minor change or minor appreciation in their value. But if uh, the market is doing really, really bad, they hold no value whatsoever. 
and and of course it takes a long time for uh, these currencies to get established and to get uh, to to gain that kind of traction as uh, the bitcoin has so that remains a concern among many new investors and also uh, the miners because if you are one of those people who want to mine a cryptocurrency you would be only interested if you get a high return on investment i mean why would you want to invest on expensive equipments and pay energy bills if you are not able to recover your money so this remains a problem with most cryptocurrencies and i think that's where darico is different uh, darico is going to invest the money received from icos uh, in on ether gold and bitcoin so it, uh, the composition is going to be 35% investment in gold 55% in bitcoin and 10% on ether why only these assets let's have a look so first is bitcoin why bitcoin is an important currency well firstly it's a first cryptocurrency ever uh, and it set the benchmark for all the cryptocurrencies in the market in fact it established the crypto market and because of its track record it is considered as safe and reliable its algorithm is proven and it's acceptable widely including online stores and there are also several atms where you can exchange your bitcoin for a cash that makes bitcoin very liquid uh, which obviously uh, increases the demand for bitcoin uh, it has the highest market capitalization so as of december 2017 uh, it, its market capitalization is 180 billion dollars uh, which which comprises of about 50% of the entire crypto market and it is speculated that it can hit a 500000 dollar mark by 2030 now that's only an an estimate it's likely that it can happen sooner because the way the price of bitcoin is shooting up obviously it'll see some uh, volatility over a period of time but it's likely that it's going to hit a 500000 dollar mark sooner than 2030 now let's talk about ether well it's the second largest cryptocurrency after bitcoin it is highly liquid and it has high acceptability and it's not just a currency but it also acts as a development platform for other blockchains and cryptocurrencies it provides capability to build smart contracts and proof of work and it has a very strong support from the development communities and large companies uh, there are companies like toyota and microsoft and many others which are now investing on eth in ether and helping the platform uh, evolve and and grow further and that's why it is also known as the cryptocurrency of future now let's look at gold of course gold does not need any introduction it's it has been the most valuable metal for centuries and it is considered as a tangible asset uh, which is unlike other currencies in fact it backs most of uh, the fiat currencies and it is extremely liquid so if you have gold you can just go and exchange it for whichever currency you like and the transaction is instant it has been the investment of choice during the unstable times so especially during war and recession and that's because it has low volatility and it has a negative correlation with other currencies now let's talk about the negative correlation most cryptocurrencies as we all know are extremely volatile and they have a positive correlation so in that sense if uh, the price of bitcoin and ether is going up then other cryptocurrencies follow that pattern but gold follows the opposite pattern because whenever there is uncertainty in the market people withdraw all their money from uh paper based investments and put the money in gold so when the markets are volatile the price of gold goes up 
and because Darico is going to put a proportion of their money into gold, it makes the currency very, very stable. And this is very good for investors because uh, the portfolio of Darico will be spread out and there's going to be a good hedge against the risks. Another component of Darico is uh, auto mining. So the investors will get access to the auto mining feature which uh, Darico is bringing in and I think this is an extremely attractive proposition which Darico is bringing to its investors. So Darico will set up its auto mining farm and out of 280 million coins only 60 million will be sold through ICO and rest of the coins will be mined uh, over the 18 years and these mined coins will be spread or distributed among the investors uh, who have initially invested in Darico. Now uh, the, the condition is that the investor should have at least 1000 Darikos uh, in, their, in their wallet and uh, the mined coins will be proportionally distributed among all the investors periodically. Uh, this will of course increase the asset holding of the investors so uh, not only will the price of Darico coin will go up as uh, the value of uh, Bitcoin and Ether goes up uh, but they will also receive more and more coins over a period of time which gives them an extra benefit. Now let's look at some of the other features of Darico coin. We have already talked about the auto mining feature. The investors can keep the coins in Ether wallet which is ERC20 compliant. Uh, for example, my Ether wallet. But the investors will also get access to Darico wallet which is going to be linked to auto mining. So the amount of funds the investors will hold in Darico wallet Will entitle them for the new coins which will be mined and of course it's going to be tradable in most exchanges. Darico will also introduce its own debit card which will make uh, using Darico very very simple. Now let's jump on the ICO itself. So in December they have the pre-ICO phase uh, and in this pre-ICO they are going to sell about 3 million Darikos. In January they will begin with actual uh, ICO and the idea is that between pre-ICO and ICO uh, they want to sell about 60 million coins. The investors will receive the allocated funds in Ether wallets which are ERC20 compliant for example my Ether wallet. Now let's look at the team. So this is the team and I want to focus on the founder and CEO Mr. Mujatab Asadia. He is the founder and CEO of uh, Darico. I looked at his LinkedIn profile and he has got a lot of experience in uh, the investment banking and he has been a founder and CEO of several other companies uh, in past so that makes him an eligible person to run uh, an ICO such as this one. And now ladies and gentlemen it's time for the verdict. Business model. I think they have a very good business model and a very good thought process around this uh, coin. So they want to invest in bitcoins, ether and gold and create a currency which is backed by some substantial assets. So that's why I'm going to give it a score of 9 growth potential. I think the growth is going to be phenomenal because it's backed by Bitcoin, Ethereum and gold. So uh, with the increase in price of Bitcoin, the price of Darico is bound to go up. Team, I think they have got an amazing team. Uh, the CEO and founder himself has got a lot of experience. He has been at a senior positions in several companies. He has been a founder of many companies and he has got great experience in investment banking and financial sector. So that makes a great team. 
uh, feasibility of course I think the feasibility of this project is great and it's a pretty simple idea but it's going to uh, bring in a lot of benefits to its investors so that makes it an overall score of 9 out of 10 so here was my view on Derico coin I hope you liked it and if you've liked it please do not forget to share like and subscribe and I'll see you with the next review very soon thanks for watching bye